Hello guys, welcome to the new video. Today we are reviewing scientific data pointing to the apocalypse and the end of life on Earth. When and why could this happen? Find out below, sit back and watch until the end will be very interesting. Like the video, and don't forget to subscribe. Let's get started. How will life on Earth end? Asteroid strikes, supernovae blasts, and other calamities could take out humanity. But no matter what, a cataclysmic event 1 billion years from now will likely rock will repeats. So, what would it take to kill off life in full? Well, it turns out that while humanity might be surprisingly fragile, it's not easy to sterilize an entire planet. Nonetheless, below are just a few possible doomsday events that could permanently extinguish all life on Earth, and the last one is likely unavoidable. The extinction of humanity. This is not just prophesy, this is an inevitability. Although there are over 7 billion of us, and growing, today, humans have only been around in our current form for under a million years, with all of the great apes having existed for only a few million years. Evolution may be slow to occur in our species on the timescale of a single human lifetime, but over millions of years, it's enough. Even if there are descendants of humans still around, they won't be human any longer. Humans themselves face pressure from a changing planet with limited resources, from other humans, in the form of nuclear, chemical, or biological weapons, and from the natural world, in the form of disease. Whether an out-of-this-world catastrophe, like an asteroid strike, occurs or not, the demise of humanity is inevitable. Whether we have descendants that survive or not is immaterial, we will go extinct on this world eventually. On geological and astronomical timescales, this is likely to happen sooner than later, and will be the first end of the world for us. Asteroid Impact Apocalypse When a city-sized asteroid, however, won't always be on the winning side of such random events. A future asteroid could just as easily take out every person on Earth. Fortunately, that's unlikely to happen anytime soon. Based on the geological record of cosmic impacts, Earth gets hit by a large asteroid roughly every 100 million years, according to NASA. However, smaller asteroid impacts do happen all the time. There's even evidence that some people may have been killed by small meteorite impacts within the past few thousand years. But what are the chances that our planet will ever be struck by an asteroid massive enough to wipe out all life systems largest, are big enough to do that? There is evidence that infant Earth was struck by a large planetoid called Thea. But these days, collisions of such large objects are extremely unlikely. Death by deoxygenation. For a more likely glimpse of an Earth-altering cataclysm, we need to look to the distant past. Nearly 2.5 billion years ago, a period called the Great Oxidation Event gave us the breathable atmosphere we all now depend on. An eruption of cyanobacteria, sometimes called blue-green algae, filled our atmosphere with oxygen, creating a world where multicellular life forms could take hold, and where creatures like humans could ultimately breathe. However, one of Earth's great die-offs, an event 450 million years ago called the Late Ordovician Mass Extinction, likely happened because the inverse a sweeping climate shift left the supercontinent covered with glaciers. That global cooling alone was enough to start killing off species, but then a second pulse of the extinction ramped up as oxygen levels plummeted. Scientists see evidence of this shift in seafloor samples collected from around the world. Some researchers think that the glaciers were responsible for fundamentally changing the layers of the oceans, which have unique temperatures and specific concentrations of elements like oxygen. Yet, the exact cause of the oxygen drop is still up for debate. Whatever the cause is in our oceans, potentially killing off marine species. Gamma ray burst extinction. Even if a sudden spate of global cooling sparked the late Ordovician mass extinction, what set that in motion in the first place? Over the years, numerous astronomers have suggested the culprit might have been a gamma ray burst, GRB. GRBs are mysterious events that seem to be the most violent and energetic explosions in the cosmos, and astronomers suspect they're tied to extreme supernovae. However, and thankfully, we haven't yet seen a burst close enough to us to fully understand what's going on. So far, GRBs have zone depletion as enough to chip away at our planet's natural sunscreen, causing serious problems. Wiping out the ozone on a large enough scale could wreak havoc on food chains, killing off huge numbers of species. The GRB would wipe out the lifeforms that live in the upper levels of the ocean, which currently contribute significant amounts of oxygen to our atmosphere. And, it turns out, gamma rays also break apart atmospheric oxygen and nitrogen. These gases get converted into nitrogen dioxide, which is more commonly known as the smog that blocks out the sun above heavily polluted cities. Having this smog blanketing the entire Earth would block out sunshine and kickstart a global ice age. Reduction to a barren rock. You thought having our oceans boil was bad? 
How about the prospect of having every atom of atmosphere ejected from our world out of hydrogen fuel in its core? When that occurs, the core will contract, heat up, and begin fusing helium to release even more energy than before. In this state, the sun turns into a helium-burning red giant, and nothing on Earth can withstand this. The sun will swell to almost a hundred times its current diameter, and will become thousands of times as luminous as it is today. The Earth will be stripped completely bare, while simultaneously being pushed away from the sun in its orbit, while the inner worlds, Mercury and Venus, are totally devoured. The sun will later die, being reduced to a white dwarf, while the Earth remains just a roasted remnant, floating through space in its orbit around a stellar corpse. End of the sun, any of the devastating scenarios above, while undoubtedly terrible for life, are just a fraction as bad as future Earth's ultimate fate. Gamma ray burst or not, in about a billion years, most life on Earth will eventually die anyway due to a lack of oxygen. That's according to a different study published in March in the journal Nature Geoscience. The researchers suggest that our oxygen-rich atmosphere is not a permanent feature of the planet. Instead, in about a billion years, solar activity will cause atmosphere-producing plants and organisms that rely on photosynthesis will die out. Our planet won't have enough lifeforms to sustain the oxygen-rich atmosphere humans and other animals require. The precise timing of when that starts and how long it takes, the deoxygenation process could take as few as 10,000 years, depends on a broad range of factors. But, in the end, the author